How are you all doing today? I hope you're all doing great, and I hope you're all staying safe. You can see the huge smile on my face, and that is because yesterday I was telling you guys about the video that I couldn't make. Well, today, that video is happening. And of course, if at any time you want to skip to any specific part of this video, I have timestamps for you down in the description below. But whatever you do, make sure to check out the end because I have brand new sick merch designs for you guys that I think you will really enjoy. Because as every normal person would do, if you are not in a country and you cannot purchase something, you go onto Discord and you ask people for their credit card information and home address. Nah, just kidding, I didn't do that. <laughs> I was the one wanting to give out my login information, but thankfully someone saved me from doing that. And that someone is called I Do Dishes Daily on the Discord. And oh my God, this is absolutely amazing, guys. Today, I will be showing you how to play PC VR on your Oculus Quest without a PC VR computer. So how will we be accomplishing this? through cloud gaming. Now, a lot of you know I was super excited about cloud gaming when news first came out about the Oculus Quest 2, and that is because I knew it was going to have Wi-Fi 6, and I'm doing this because I sort of knew, I didn't 100% know, and I knew that it was going to be a lot more stable with the connection than the Quest 1 was, and the Quest 1 was already really good. So I was telling you guys about cloud computing back then. Well, it's a thing now. And we are going to be using a service called Shadow. And the amount of people that have been telling me that they're using Shadow and the amount of people that wanted a video about this is absolutely insane. Now, Shadow is currently on pre-order for most countries in Europe and a lot of states in America already have it. Or it's on pre-order till the 29th of October. And people that have it say it's great, but the storage is a problem. However, they're fixing that. And not only that, today I will show you that even though it's all the way in America, I can still use it. So today I will be telling you exactly what cloud gaming is, how to use it, and exactly how you can connect your Oculus Quest to it. So let's begin. So Shadow PC Gaming is a gaming platform on the cloud. It is cloud gaming. If you guys are familiar with Stadia or any of those other platforms, you get a virtual computer in the cloud that you can connect to using anything, your phone, computer, tablet, laptop, anything, and you can use it to play games that you wouldn't normally be able to play because it has incredible hardware. Now, if you have a stable enough internet connection, because that is what all this is about, you need a good internet connection. So I have five gigahertz. Five gigahertz is super important for this you will be able to play this pretty much seamlessly with very little latency. Now, because I am so far away from the servers, I'm getting quite a bit of latency, but the graphics fidelity is still there and it's absolutely amazing. So how is Shadow Gaming different to all these other services? Well, Shadow Gaming not only gives you Steam or anything like that, it gives you a full-blown Windows PC meaning you can download anything you want on it. That includes virtual desktop. We have this virtual super overpowered computer up in the cloud, and we can put virtual desktop, Steam, Steam VR, and Oculus on it. We're gonna connect the Oculus Quest 2, and I'm pretty sure you could do this with the one if you wanted to as well. However, I don't know how good that would be. Two, shadow gaming using virtual desktop and nothing but the power of the internet. Which means this all could be completely powered off. I could be using my phone to start the shadow. So without further ado, let's jump in because I really wanna show this to you. This is super exciting. So as you guys can see, I have the shadow app downloaded onto my computer right here. And all you do is you launch it. However, you could install it on your Android phone. You could install it on your laptop. You could install it on anything. It doesn't need to be a computer and it's gonna say starting launcher. And then it's going to start the shadow because it needs to start the computer. The computer automatically turns off every time. So as you can see, we now have a notification that shadow is ready and all we do is we click start now and we're gonna be thrown straight into the desktop which is already pretty insane because as you can see this is just a full-blown windows computer and i can drag everything around it and there's actually surprisingly little latency considering i am so far away from the servers when this service finally is out in europe and is out of pre-order this will be insane so as you can see i've already pre-installed a few things but it's just a standard windows computer so i'm not going to show you how to install stuff because that would be boring as you can see i already have steam vr here beat saber oculus and steam itself now with that i also have the virtual desktop streamer so i can launch that right here right now and you're going to see me signed in to the virtual desktop streamer right here as you can see so now that the shadow is started all we do is we just leave this on in the background or wherever and we jump straight into the oculus quest 
Now, to minimize latency, I would recommend powering literally everything off. However, that's impossible because there's other people living in this house. So, we're just gonna have to roll with what we got and hope that the latency isn't too bad. Yesterday, I was actually getting about 83 milliseconds of latency, which is not bad considering these servers are all the way in and I'm all the way in Ireland. So that is pretty amazing. And again, I cannot wait to see how well this would work if it was right next to me in let's say the United Kingdom. So I'm gonna start recording right now and jump straight into virtual desktop. And in virtual desktop, you can straight up see shadow right there and it is connected because virtual desktop does allow for that. And I can see the desktop right here on my Oculus Quest, I can move everything around. It seems that we are running at about 110 milliseconds of latency, which of course isn't ideal. However, again, if you were much closer to these servers, it would work much better. So I'm just gonna click launch Steam VR and boom, check this out. We are in Steam VR and the headset itself doesn't lag. Yeah, surprising. It's actually not the headset and the movement of my head, it's the controllers. The headset itself is perfectly fine. So I'm now gonna rotate you guys. And how about we play some Beat Saber? Oh, yeah, we're playing Beat Saber in Actually, I just realized I don't know if it's New York. <laughs> can, someone, can I confirm if it's New York while editing, please? Okay, so I'm gonna reset my play space. Continue. Let's go. Okay, so let's play something on normal just to try it out, just to make sure everything is cool and that we're working. So, I am going to jump into Legend, because this is a song I know very well, and we're gonna go into normal, because again, I have 110 milliseconds of latency right now. I'm a living legend. You ain't heard yet, you not get the message. From the moment that I'm stepping in, I get a couple weapons, yeah, I turn to a beast when I'm rapping. Yes. Hey. I'm a living legend. You ain't heard yet, you not get the message. From the moment that I'm stepping in, I get a couple weapons, yeah, I turn to a beast when I'm rapping. You are now watching the legend, so sit back and let the show begin. The promise ain't no one's able to go and get me loaded in. And no offense, but suckers ain't got those to no chance. I'm gonna win, my fuck was so much dope, and then I know we get Oh my lord, here we go again, it's going on and on, though. You can catch me up in that jungle, I'll be going ape like Congo. Hit them points up front, though, wanna hit them up with that gun blow. Live a legend, you ain't heard yet, you not get the message. From the moment that I'm stepping in, I get a couple weapons, yeah, I turn to a beast when I'm ready. Hey! This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Yeah, rank S, of course. Yes, boys, rank S. <laughs> and look, we are in virtual desktop right now. And by clicking into this, you can see that I am in fact on the shadow PC and we are connected virtually to America right now. And the latency is not even that bad, okay? I'm not gonna say it's not there like I would normally. This is not bad. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And then of course, when you're done gaming to shut down your shadow, you shut it down just like you would a normal Windows PC. This is how far we've gotten. We've gotten to the point where cloud gaming over the internet can be done even miles away thousands of miles away and I can still play it like that is playable the latency is there but that is playable you guys saw me playing Beat Saber it's just something that you have to get accommodated to and again when this does come out in Europe to the UK or to the Netherlands or to Germany that is going to be much closer to me and I can imagine that latency is going to be about 30 35 milliseconds which is what people in America are apparently getting while playing virtual desktop through their shadow it is absolutely incredible the, the fact that we've gotten to this point is amazing, and I am so hyped for this, as if you couldn't tell. And I think that you guys might be as well, which is why I decided to share this with you guys. Thank you so much again to I Do Dishes Daily for even bothering to answer my weird message that sort of looked like a scam. <laughs> this would not have been possible without you. Now I get to share this with people that maybe want to play PC VR games on their quest, but don't have a computer and live in America. This is absolutely incredible. This is amazing. 
Um, if any of you guys are using Shadow and have very good experiences with it, please let me know down in the comments section below. Personally, I am super excited for this. I'm super excited to see what cloud gaming will do for us in the future. And yeah, this service, it costs $11.99 per month. That is so much cheaper than a gaming PC would ever cost you. Like how long would you have to pay that off to pay off a good gaming PC? That is amazing. So you guys, I'm super, super excited that we have new merch. And you guys know that when I was designing the merch, I didn't want it to be a massive ad. I didn't want it to scream mystical. I didn't want it to be an ad. I wanted this to be something that people genuinely wanted to wear. Unfortunately, I'm not a designer and you guys know that. So I decided to hire some amazing people to do it for me. And I'm happy to say we have two brand new collections coming to the store. We have Shatter Reality, which is a shattered globe saying Shatter Reality, kind of indicating breaking free from reality, because after all, this is virtual reality reality. And then we also have the Another World Collection, created by Watchhog on our Discord. And it is an eye, but it is also space, indicating that virtual reality is another world of its own, which is absolutely incredible. I love these designs. I'm absolutely super hyped for them, and I think you guys are going to like them too. I've added a lot more colors, a lot more different shirt and hoodie types, which are obviously at different price tags, but there's premium ones and then there's normal ones. So if you guys want to support the channel in any way, and if you want to get yourself one, you know what to do. Mysticalstore.com. Mysticalstore.com. <laughs> so yet again, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. I'm super hyped for this new technology. Are you? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys dislike the video, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comment section below. If you guys want to be notified, if you guys want to join this club, we have a Discord down below. We also have a Reddit where I want to see you guys posting your spicy memes. And if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.